Welcome to the Crypto Investments channel. In this video, I will talk about Decentraland price prediction and Decentraland news today. If you like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Write in the comments your price forecast for Decentraland in 2022. Decentraland Mana, defines itself as a virtual reality platform based on the Ethereum blockchain that allows users to create, serve and monetize content and applications. In this virtual reality, users buy land that they can later navigate, build on, and monetize. Decentraland was launched following a $24 million initial coin offering, ICO, that took place in 2017. Virtual World launched its closed beta in 2019 and opened to the public in February 2020. Since then, users have created a wide range of experiences on their land sites, including interactive games, extensive 3D scenes, and many other interactive experiences. Decentraland was created by Ariel Milik and Esteban Ordano, who have retired from their core roles on the project, but are still working with Decentraland as advisors. So let's start with the most important news of the past days about Decentraland. Could Decentraland's fidgetal move be the catalyst for Mana land sales? Both Decentraland and the Sandbox have been pushing the metaverse to the general public. Alas, owing to present market conditions, their plans do not seem to be working. For its part however, Decentraland does not seem to want to back down. Its latest effort to push metaverse to the mainstream audience may just be proof of the same. Decentraland X Bulova according to an announcement two days ago, Decentraland has now introduced a new digital watch to the world. Launched by Bulova in partnership with Decave, the watch has been described as wearable in the metaverse, with more details intended to be shared by 10 March. Bulova, as a 147-year-old brand, has a strong presence in the market. And, with the company making a move into the virtual world, Decentraland would attract more brand users to join the metaverse. If the plan works, then, Decentraland would be able to pull some investment out of people, since on-chain data shows Decentraland is not doing very well. Land sales, for instance, have been diminishing instead of rising. Decentraland plot sales skyrocketed in November, and managed to sell up to 1,551 plots, bringing in $13.6 million. However, volumes were much higher in January at $16 million despite land sales dropping to 1,328. This is also because the number of unique owners has fallen significantly. Landowners between November and December rose by 1100, while between January and February, the same figure was just 549. Naturally, a lack of new users will lead to a lack of sales, and consequently, the total sales volume will also go down. Regardless, both land sales and volumes dropped to 916 and $10 million, respectively, last month. The rise again fall again strategy adopted by the market is responsible for such diminishing growth. This pattern has also kept Mana consolidated between $2.41 and $3.51, with the former serving as strong support. Despite fall-throughs and breach attempts, the resistance and support levels have remained firm and unchanged for three months now. The next news decentralized 2 cents. This happens to be double support for the price as a result of Mana attempting to bounce back toward the descending trendline. The bearish trendline, which extends from the highs of $2.44 acts as a resistance for the bulls. If the price takes out a $2.30 upside filter then bulls will move forward to seek the next target at $2.35. The sustained buying pressure will bring highs of March 13 at $2.44 in play. On the other hand, a spike in sell order might continue with the downside momentum. A break below the session low will test the lows made on January 24 at $1.80. Mana's price depreciated nearly 73% from record highs made on November 25 at $5.91. As of writing, Mana United States dollar is trading at $2.24, down 3.69% for the day. As per the market cap, the 24-hour trading value of Decentraland holds at $264,560,490. So the next news today about amid the stock market turmoil, this DeFi company trades at cash value. Liquid Meta Capital Holdings Limited, Neolic, a leading decentralized finance, DeFi, infrastructure and technology company, is not being represented as such on the public exchanges. Trading at less than half of its go public price and near cash value of its balance sheet, the company which listed on December 22, 2021 has been caught in the risk asset meat grinder in Q1 2022. But does an ill-timed IPO, an unavoidable matter of timing, and moribund market conditions provide an opportunity for investors at current prices? Quite possibly, yes. A quick background on Liquid Meta Holdings. The company is a technology developer in the institutional DeFi space creating a proprietary system named MetaBridge. While the development of MetaBridge is in its nascent build-out phase, Liquid Meta has active liquidity mining operations which earns tokens, yields, for providing liquidity to various DeFi liquidity pool protocols. 
This operation is generating revenue, and due to relatively low operational expense, OPEX costs could generate substantial free cash flow in year one. Note, Liquid Meta has not provided financial or operational guidance. Despite a promising foundation which includes a cashed-up balance sheet and emerging tech stack, Liquid Meta's stock has been caught up in the same downdraft affecting most crypto and risk asset classes to begin 2021. So much so that at C27.19 million dollars fully diluted, the company is basically trading a cash value. So with Liquid Meta in the described condition, we looked into whether the company was a compelling value at these seemingly depressed prices. Indeed, we found reasons for optimism. Trading a cash, but not hemorrhaging money with approximately US$22 million on its balance sheet, Liquid Meta came to market on the NEO exchange with sufficient working capital to maneuver. Unlike a pharmaceutical drug developer or money-losing cannabis LP, the company does not run a business model demanding expensive capital outlays. It is the contrary. A model with a lean OPEC structure which preserves cash. As CEO John Weisblatt recently stated, Liquid Meta has enough cash to last 10 years before needing to raise money at current burn rates. That's a tremendous amount of leeway to make that eventual quantum leap as a company. How much will Decentraland cost in 2025, or how much will Decentraland cost in 10 years? Guessing price fluctuations and predicting future prices is a hell of a task. Decentraland Price Prediction 2022 It appears that by 2022, Decentraland mana, prices will hit a level similar to their previous all-time high. For 2022, we can expect the average rate to be $3.70. If everything goes smoothly, we predicted that Decentraland's maximum price could be up to $4.21 in 2022. Of course, there are chances that the market will fall after a long bull run, and this is normal for the cryptocurrency market. Decentraland course forecast 2023. Mana has great potential, with certain interactions and innovations, it is possible to increase the number of users in advertising. If the market focuses on investing in Decentraland, the price could rise much higher. By 2023, it may reach a maximum value of $6.18. Mana is expected to reverse slightly if the market goes down. The year 2023 could end with an average price of $5.37, a minimum price of $5.19, and a maximum price of $6.18. Decentraland Course Prediction 2024 In 2024, with wider adoption and partnerships between other important blockchain networks, Decentraland price will skyrocket. The maximum trading price could reach $9.01 in 2024. The price ranges will be very trendy if we stick to them. If all goes well, we can expect an average price of $8.04 with a maximum price of $9.01 for 2024. Price Mana Forecast 2025 For a long-term forecast of the Decentraland price, basic analysis is important. In terms of industry benefits, the native token offers several. The autonomy of the digital economy makes it ideal. As DAP and stablecoins evolve, the network offers competitive programmable payment, logistics, and storage options. There is a possibility that the average price of mana will rise to around $11.46 by 2025 if the idea attracts more investors. For 2025, the year could end with a maximum price of $13.49 with a minimum price. Level $11.13. Mana Rate Prediction 2026 Mana will be seen as the best option, and with a huge community, 